need to get a lift to Goodwood. 75th members meeting starts tomorrow. I need something really cool to go in. What are the odds? Are you going to Goodwood? Can I come with you? Thank you. Quite awesome. Good this fun. car finished on the podium at Daytona yep. in, the, in the famous 24 hours in 98. How on earth do you make it road legal? Well, actually, there's not that much um, that's changed to enable it to go on the road legally. Obviously, you have to do a few things with setup in terms of softer springs and uh, dampers and what have you, and obviously road legal tyres. But beyond that, it's catalytic converters. We've got the uh, quick fill filler caps, which obviously you can't yeah. have them on, but you can have them, but you obviously have dump churns at the lot yeah. at Daytona. And um, beyond that, it's pretty much as it was when it came off the circuit. Turbo boost settings wound down a bit? Yeah, I mean, there's three boost settings. We were on the, uh, shall we say, the, uh, the softest of them. Are you um, sure? But uh, felt, yeah, felt, felt quite hard to me, mate. Two higher that we'll probably use over the weekend. So. Brilliant, yeah. absolutely brilliant. And it's got a number plate. Yeah, we've got a nice number plate for it. It's a uh, big 104. Because it's chassis 104. Yeah, which relates to the chassis number and um, obviously you know, people make the mistake of calling it a fat turbo, it's an FA turbo, but uh, given the piece people think it's a, a fat turbo, we thought Big 104 was quite appropriate. I really enjoyed hearing those KKK, double KKKs, whistling behind my ear. Yeah, I mean, they make a fantastic noise. The whole car is, you know, when you're inside it's alive and uh, unfortunately it sounds a bit softer on the outside because of the uh, road modifications, but beyond that it's, uh, you know, on the inside it's, it's just insane. <laughs> 